Democratic Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois blocks Senator Mike Lee's resolution honoring the 50th anniversary of the Heritage Foundation. Now, Senator Durbin said his objection was due to the committee rules and not on the basis of the conservative organization's mission. The think tank in Washington, D.C. is celebrating its 50th anniversary with a two-day summit. Leaders from throughout the country were in attendance. EWTN News, News Nightly anchor Tracy Sable has more. Welcome indeed to what is going to be a momentous week. This morning, Dr. Kevin Roberts, president of the Heritage Foundation, kicked off the two-day event celebrating the organization's 50th year. We're so excited to be here at the Gaylord to bring together over a thousand like-minded conservative activists all across the country to talk about the issues that matter most to Americans. Jessica Anderson is one of the thousands gathered here today to celebrate the important milestone. She, along with other conservative leaders and participants, aimed to bring awareness to preserving traditional traditional family values and to fight against an increasingly woke culture. I feel like right now culture is kind of lacking a grip on truth and like what's really good and what's not good. And I think um, being able to make that palatable to young people is super important. Also important to those here today, the life issue and defending the unborn. Heritage has been there every step of the way. It's been 50 years of fighting for those values. It's been a tough fight, and I think it's been indispensable for the future of our country that we're still in it and we're still winning. Roger Severino, the vice president of domestic policy at the Heritage Foundation, says the battle continues at the Supreme Court, where a decision is expected on the chemical abortion drug mifepristone used in more than half of all U.S. abortions. We'll see what the Supreme Court is going to do. Whatever it does, that will be the first step of this big debate as to whether or not the FDA had the authority to declare pregnancy an illness and treat unborn children as somehow a problem as opposed to something that needs to be valued and cherished. Paul Faraci from Alexandria, Virginia agrees. As Catholics and as Americans, we've got an election coming up. We have to uh, consider how our values are under attack. Of those attacks, the rights of females. The House passed the Protection of Women and Girls in Sports Act today. The White House has said it will veto the bill. It's unfortunate to hear that uh, President Biden is so against protecting women and girls in sports, protecting their opportunities, protecting their chance for scholarship, um, and frankly, equal access to athletics. His decision to come out and say if the bill lands on his desk, he'll veto it. It's the wrong decision. Meanwhile, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, who spoke at today's event, says election integrity is one of the issues that he is championing in the Lone Star State. We're trying to pass more significant election integrity legislation to protect our elections, so we're working at it. But if we do not, if we're not successful, it will impact our ability to hold Texas as a fair state and we'll lose the state. But it's not just an issue for Texas. Attorney General Paxton says it's an important issue for all voters. It is a real issue and they should be talking to their legislators about making sure that their elections are fair, free and protected. From National Harbor, Maryland, Tracy Sable, EWTN News Nightly.